Live from the MENA ICT Forum, this is day two. I'm here with Mr. Osama Netto from Saudi Arabia, the founder of IBS uh, Innovative Business Solutions. Sabah al khair. Sabah al uh, What brings you to MENA ICT Forum? Uh, I'm invited by uh, the Ministry of uh, ICT and the INTAJ to speak. Uh, and my event uh, was yesterday, uh, where we covered uh, e-commerce e and uh, electronic payments in the Middle East. How was the session? Uh, the session, uh, as I heard, it was the it was a packed. Actually, I've seen it myself. Uh, but they said the, the other sessions were not as full as this one. To the stage that the moderator, uh, Mr. Jawad Abbasi, had to actually lock the room. Really? Yes, yes. We had we had a full session, uh, and it was uh, very hot. We actually talked about a lot of hot topics, including uh, the difficulties of payments, uh, logistics, uh, the issues of uh, returns handling. Uh, and, and, and issues of uh, high fees on payment gateways and so on. In your opinion, what are some of the challenges faced? Well, the challenges are the same challenges and we've been talking about it in, in every event. Uh, in, in the previous Lumina ICT forum, in ArabNet, uh, Beirut, ArabNet, Riyadh and so on, uh, the challenges are still the same. It's the, uh, it's the payment gateways. Uh, they still remain to be the number one uh, challenges. Uh, number two is the trust of the local brands, of e-commerce local brands. And number three is the addressing system. How can you reach uh, the, the 300 or so million uh, uh, people in, in the Middle East. Uh, those are the three challenges. And uh, how do you think we can go about um, improving them since they are discussed every year? Are there any new solutions yes, or new ideas? There, there are solutions and I would like to, uh, and I talked about this yesterday. Uh, for example, the addressing system in Saudi Arabia it's being solved. Uh, the municipality has put uh, an address on, on every building. Uh, to the extent now there's a QR code to the building. So if you go and walk in a building, let it be residential or, or a commercial building, you can actually scan the QR code and you get the full address uh, of that uh, building. So that's uh, what's, that's one point. Another point, uh, the Saudi Post work with uh, Google. Uh, now if you just put the Saudi Postal number on Google Maps, you'll actually find the house uh, to, to the accuracy down to the four meters. Uh, plus uh, some entrepreneurs uh, created something called Inwani, Inwani.com. Uh, which is a very easy way to explain people how to get to your house uh, by giving them directions of uh, first left, second right, and so on. So the days of uh, next to the supermarket yes. on your second left yes. uh, to the uh, right. They're not is, gone. Is over. Yeah, they're not gone yet, Almost. but eventually, eventually they will, this will has go. To go. Yes. If, so, if we're so that's move that's in terms of uh, the, uh, the solving the housing issue. In terms of solving the trust of the local e-commerce brands, uh, again, a group of inter entrepreneurs in Riyadh, led by Mazen Abdarab, created something called Ijar which is E to JAR, it's JAR. Uh, the idea of it is having a certification and accreditation of electronic commerce. So when you go and buy from that site, it says this site is certified or this site is approved. So you don't have to worry. Uh, so between Inwani and JAR, we're kind of solving two problems. However, we still have the major problem of the payment gateways. It's still the majority of the payments are being cash on delivery at the moment. Uh, and cash on delivery uh, currently for some companies makes 60% of, of, of payments. Now, cash and delivery, even though it is uh, a safe uh, way, however, it comes with its, its headaches because now you have to transport the cash back. And if it's being transported by the courier, then the courier needs to pay you back. Uh, and the, you go into cash insurance, then you go into extra, uh, extra security, extra accounting work to reconcile. Uh, so even though cash today is the biggest uh, payment method in the Middle East, it comes with a lot of burden. And what we're trying to do, myself with our fellow uh, partners in, in, in the e-commerce business, is to move people more towards e-payments and mobile payments and less depending on cash payments. Sam, I thank you so much for joining You're us. You're it's welcome. very interesting to hear about all the solutions and that uh, they're being implemented as well. It's very important so we can all move forward. Sure, sure. See you at the next Mean ICT Forum. Yeah, we'll forum. see you next uh, Mean ICT Forum. And make sure you follow us on Twitter as well. Uh, I will all the time. You can join in on the conversation at Mina ICT. The hashtag, as Osama knows, is hashtag Mina ICT. This interview and the rest of the interviews, you can watch them on the official YouTube page, Mina ICT. Khaliko Mana.